Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Mariella and my channel is In the Kitchen with Mariella. Hey, if you would like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a comment and share my video. It helps the algorithm out a lot. Also, if you want, you can become a channel member by hitting that join button. And if you really like the video, you can give it a super thanks. Hey, today we are going to be making a side dish. Um, it is Swiss char. And it's fresh out of my garden. So come on, let's get started. Okay, I have this beautiful Swiss char fresh out of my garden. I've already washed it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the stems off of it. Because Swiss char stems, they're very fibrous. And stringy, so you don't want to eat them. And what you do is you just fold them over in half and then run your knife right along that stem. And they come right out, just like that. Now, even if you buy Swiss char in this grocery store, you still want to make sure you wash it. Because it grows through the dirt. And it gets very sandy and dirty. So if you all watched my last video, you know that the landlord stopped by and said that he had to replace the whole furnace. This is what I don't understand. If the furnace is 30 years old, how are you going to make it sound like it's my fault that it broke down? I mean, they don't make things like they used to, and things don't last forever. Okay, now that I got all the stems taken out, I'm just going to roughly chop this. Because these are some big leaves. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to heat up my skillet with a little bit of olive oil. And if you watched my last video, this is the same skillet that I cooked the I, uh, smoked sausage in. I'm filming both of these videos on the same day. So instead of washing this Instead of washing the skillet, I just saved the dripping so I could cook the Swiss char in it.
We'll add the Swiss char to the skillet. And you'll see, this looks like a lot of Swiss char, but when it cooks, it's going to be very little. Season it with some salt. And some pepper. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And a teaspoon of onion powder. And give them a stir. Right now what we're doing is just wilting down the Swiss char. See, it looked like a lot and that made about one serving of Swiss char. Which is okay, because it'll go great with Friday's video. Now to the Swiss char, we are going to add one cup of chicken stock. It'll come up to a boil and then I'll turn the heat down and let it simmer until the Swiss char is tender and most of the stock has evaporated. If you wanted, if you were making a big pot of this, um, you could add some ham, some ham hocks, um, bacon, um, some smoked sausage, and as it's boiling down and getting tender, um, it'll release the flavors from the meat into them and if you didn't want to use chicken stock you could use beef stock or vegetable stock Okay, it's boiling, so I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. And we're going to let this cook until our Swiss char is tender. And I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we're back. It is done. I cooked off all the liquid off of it. And it smells amazing in here. Now, all of that Swiss char only made this little bit. But that's plenty for me because I still have some collard greens left in the refrigerator. So, 
I'll mix those with it and eat that tomorrow night with dinner. But yeah, when I said I had planted Swiss char in my garden, somebody had asked me, what is it and how do you cook it? So that is why I did this video today was to give an example on how to cook your Swiss char. Now, if you make a big pot of this, because this took about 40 minutes to cook down. But if you made a big pot of this, you would have to cook it at least an hour to an hour and a half to get it soft and to get most of the liquid off of it. So I'm not going to do a taste test today. Um, if you want to see me taste it, come back for the next video because that'll be when I taste it. As always, if you would like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a comment, and share my video. One, it helps me out and it helps the algorithm so my videos get out to more people. If you want, you can become a channel member by hitting that join button. And if you really like the video, you can give it a super thanks. And as always, don't let anyone steal your sunshine or your smile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.